Here at the Maker Fair, there are all kinds of crazy contraptions that are being made. I'm standing in front of one of them as we speak. This is the tin spider behind me. It's massive, and it, if you get inside, you kind of feel like a boss in a video game. Here is Scott. Uh, you made this, dude. Tell us why. I was always a Star Wars fan, so I wanted something that kind of looked Star Wars-like. And then I was a Buckminster Fuller fan, so I liked domes. And I recently became a Taylor Jensen fan, so okay. I wanted to combine all those things together and make something that was really cool. So tell, how'd you come up with the concept for this, man? Did you, were you just bored one day and you're like, I think I'm gonna build a giant tin spider? Well, in a way, yeah. <laughs> I pretty much, you know, I, I just had some time free and I wanted to do something that was really cool. And then, plus I was planning to go to Burning Man, I wanted to have something really cool to bring to Burning Man. So I, I just figured if I combined two of my heroes' ideas, both Buckminster Fuller and Taylor Jensen together and make this machine, uh, might impress somebody. How does it work? What are the nuts and bolts with it? Okay, it's basically powered on each side. Each side's a separate unit, and there's a one-horse motor on each side okay. that's controlled, speed controlled, forward reverse. So it drives kind of like a tank. Pretty basically, it's battery powered, it's all electric. Wow. And uh, running two horsepower, and it's about 2,500 pounds, so that's an impressive use of of energy to move a little, a big machine like that with little power. Yeah. So watch out, guys, because there's people like my fine friend Scott here making stuff like this. Uh, this is coming to a street near you. You can check out more videos from the Maker Fair right here at PopSci.com, and for the full-length show, go to Portico.tv.